I'm Kathy. Hi, I'm Carrie. And we're here to show you a little project on our little turkeys that we made. And um, we used this paper, the die cut with a view, to make these little guys. It's one of their uh, crazy papers like this. And uh, we just, I, I seen it and I was like, what am I gonna do with this paper? Yeah, because it's 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 kind of interesting paper with the colorful chevron. Yeah. So. But leave it to you to look at that and see feathers. Yeah, I thought, well, we'll give it a try. So we'll put that down and we'll show you how we put it together. And um, so if you couldn't tell on the thing on the on that paper stack, this is what they look like. Really simple. Um, we were thinking of all the different ways we what we could do with them. They're pretty cute. Yeah, you could make them place card on a place card little things. Um, Thanksgiving card. Um, napkin napkin ring. ring. Yeah. A pen. Yeah. An embellishment for for anything. Yeah, and it's pretty simple. So I I even think you could have the kids do them on Thanksgiving. Absolutely. All right. So let's get started. First, we cut out um, a paper like this, and I went ahead and cut the, the zags in it so that you had a little more dimension. That's awesome, because then it looks more like a feather, because it has like the points. Yeah, and then we um, cut this one to three inches, because <laughs> we're going to make a little bit of the, the bigger fella here. And then we go from there to... Um, how do you call it? Accordion fold it so that you have this little accordion. And then we cut, and where did I put that? I had him right here. Oh, right here. We cut a circle out of a scrap piece of cardstock paper and then we fold it in half. Because you're basically making half a rosette. Oh, I'm sorry. I turned the glue gun off. That's all right. You want a glue dot? Yeah, we'll do that. So with this, we fold it in half like Carrie said. That helps with the stability. And then we're going to um, put a glue dot on there. Let's see. Got to make sure I get the right side. <laughs> Alrighty, and we're just gonna, I'm gonna stick it on there like so, and oop, now unfold it here, stick it in there like so, put that over there, fold your sides to <laughs> totally missed the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're so fine. I'm sorry. We're just giggling. We're having fun. We're crafting. We're being crazy girls. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna put the two fans to to make a fan shape. And I used the glue dot she gave me. I'm warming up the glue gun because I want to glue, you know, the top half of that one. So we'll put this aside because you got that part done. Then we cut out a shape like this. A little keyhole. Folding pin. Can, yeah. You can just do that, you know, and make him, you can make him in this color, you can make him in a light tan, whatever you want to do for colors, you know. My kids will do blue turkey bodies and red feathers, they do all kinds of crazy things, but that's all right. Okay, so then we went and got some, I got some orange felt. Oh, and these are felt. I did with the felt because I think, think it softens the look a little bit. Then we went and cut, I cut out a rectangle with a triangle on the end here. And then split it and those are his little legs. And we're just going to put those on here in a minute. And a triangle. 
see the kids can do those. Now, on this one that we did, I am I used embroidery floss and we um, I sewed little eyes on him. And then Carrie, she came up with a great idea of googly eyes because kids that would probably be easier for them too. And it doesn't take as long. <laughs> Kind of frustrating when they don't want to go on there very well. So then you can just put the googly eyes on. We'll do that here in a second. Yep, so you've got this whole thing going on. And he looks really cute. I think. You know, it, it looks so cute, but when you break it down to each little small shape, it makes it easier. You know what I mean? Well, like, yeah. you just break it down into like oh it's a two triangles in a bowling pin <laughs> yeah and and you know what though the kids understand that a lot easier than you know if we were trying to come up with some other I don't know, crazy way of explaining it but I my kids they like to craft and Aunt Carrie always has a ton of neat things and we get them all busy and they have a lot of fun and Thanksgiving is my very, very favorite holiday, so in my house we have a ton of Thanksgiving decorations. That's because we love to celebrate it. I, we were enjoying the other day um, when I came over with our other little nephew, um, we were looking at your window. We stood out in the front yard and just looked <laughs> at your window for a while because it, it had a lot of neat stuff. I decorate our front window to the extreme of Christmas with Thanksgiving stuff because I just love it and it's such a time to be so thankful for all the blessings that we have, our family and friends and you know, our freedom. Anyway, so we're going to stick that on there, tack it down with a little more glue. So it's basically like half a rosette or a fan and then um, yep. because those have that pattern on it, it makes it really look like feathers. I think that's such a clever use of that pattern. Yeah, otherwise I don't know what I would have. I don't know. Didn't you make like it, like use it to make like an embellishment that looked like a piece of corn too? Oh yeah, because it, it just has that pattern. Actually, and when, <laughs> I was just telling my sister earlier. The reason that the paper appealed to me was because when we were kids, my aunt lived in in um, uh, Mitchell, South Dakota, where the Corn Palace is. And we went to go visit my aunt, and uh, uh, I seen the Corn Palace and was like, when I saw the paper, I was like, that's like the Corn Palace. <laughs> so, yeah, it just reminds me of that. And that's how simple it is to put them together. He doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, the more the more they're imperfect, I think the more character they have, don't you, Carrie? I think they're really cute. And yes. I think it's really fun because you could make it really sophisticated. Like yours look very nice and neat. And but this is something you could do with kids too, yeah. like you said. Yeah. Great idea, Kathy. So this is what we came up with, and um, I would just hope you like it. Um, so we're signing off from the Wild West. Bye. Bye.